everybody, it's your girl Carly here with Keeping It Real. Boy, do I have something to talk to you guys about today. <laughs> okay, so I was on Facebook the other day and I came across this post from a personal trainer. He was basically marketing himself as, you know, they all do. And he showed a picture of a before and an after of a woman who had a protruding belly. And then 40 days later, she had no belly. So I was like, oh, okay, that's very impressive. Then I read more, you know, I read a little bit more detailed about, you know, what his program is about. And he happened to mention visceral fat. And I was like, what the hell is visceral fat? You know, so I started Googling it and I was like, um, what the hell? How come I didn't know about this? I don't remember learning this in my books, but okay, you know what, sometimes... I guess your thought process isn't on it, I guess. It, you, it, your mind kind of goes in a different direction. But I don't remember ever, because I would remember this. This is, this is the type of information that I probably would have never forgotten. Because literally in the 24 hour span that I researched this, I am like so freaking amazed that nobody else knows about this. Not to say nobody, because I'm sure there's a ton of people out here who know what visceral fat is. I'm not one of them. And I've been training and in fitness forever, okay? So I asked around, I asked a couple of my family members if they knew what it was, they were like, no. I asked my friends, you guys know what this is? They were like, no. So I asked the personal trainer, I said, um, do you know what visceral fat is? And he was like, no, what is that? And I'm like, now that's just sad that none of us, none of us knew what visceral fat was. And then there's something called subcutaneous fat as well. And I'm like, oh my God. So the information is out there. It's just that for whatever reason, we're not learning the necessary tools to take action to keep us from developing diabetes, heart disease, all of these things that come with our day-to-day -day diet. Okay, so I came across this website healthline.com i'm going to post their link at the bottom so look for it in the description if you want to take a look at some of the information but i had to look it up i'm like what the hell is visceral fat okay <clears throat> shall we you know i gotta wear my glasses all right so visceral fat is found inside your abdominal cavity and wraps around your internal organs what you talking about <laughs> So basically, visceral fat is the fat that we can't see, that we can't grab hold of. Subcutaneous fat is the fat that we have around our body, you know, the parts that we can grab. This, being able to grab your face, that's fat. And basically, the subcutaneous fat is the fat that we have to, you know, burn off with our diet and all this and all that. But people who are very thin and don't think that they have to work out and think that they can eat any old kind of way, they really can't. And this is the reason why I think this is the number one killer for black people in America. Because of the simple fact that there's not enough knowledge about the different types of things that go on under the skin. Visceral fat, literally, it absorbs itself around our organs and the more we eat bad the more plaque builds up you know and i was like that's just nasty and i never knew that you know of course subcutaneous we already know muffin tops mom and pops we all have that that's the part that we can see so of course somebody who is more obese they're more likely in more danger of developing diabetes you know, heart disease, hypertension, all of the things that come with clogged arteries, bad eating habits. And I tell people all the time, you have got to watch what you eat. Taking out is fine. Taking out is great. But taking out shouldn't be part of the meal plan. Taking out should be a, an occasional treat. You know, I mean, if you're going to go to Burger King or McDonald's or even Popeye's, at least do it every once in a while and do it in moderation because as i get older i'm learning how to take care of my body now the crazy part about this is that the way i was taking care of my body before i hit menopause is something completely different so now i have to rearrange everything 
okay? And I mean everything. Okay. So this is what else they say. Okay. It says carrying too much visceral fat is a serious health problem. Studies have shown that excess visceral fat is linked to a higher risk of type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, heart disease, and even certain cancers. Hello? Certain cancers? From visceral fat? What the f Now the question is, why is visceral fat harmful? <laughs> can't triple stamp a double stamp. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. This is what happens. We know that fat cells do more than simply store excess energy. They also produce hormones and inflammatory substances. Over time, these hormones can promote long-lasting inflammation and increase the risk of chronic disease. One example of this is heart disease. Long-lasting inflammation may cause plaque to form inside the arteries, which is a risk factor for heart disease. When this happens, the blood in the arteries clot and either partially or completely blocks the blood flow. In the company, I mean, I'm sorry, in the coronary arteries, a clot can deprive the heart of oxygen and cause a heart attack. Okay, yes, visceral fat is very harmful. And this is the fat that we can't see. I wondered what happened to my friend. I ha my friend died about a month ago. And he was a longtime friend of mine, childhood friend. This man never gained a bit of weight ever in his life. He was so, so thin. And when his sister told me he died of a heart attack, I was like, wait, what? And it was bothering me. It was bothering me because I'm like, I don't understand how it is that he died of a heart attack. So when I read up on the visceral fat, it made perfect sense because visceral fat is the type of fat that you cannot see, but you know that it's there because if you have subcutaneous fat, then you have visceral fat, which is another reason why it's important to get your ass up and get in that gym, change your diet, do whatever you got to do because if you're over 40 and you want to live a long life, you got to make some changes. You just have to. How do you get rid of visceral fat? Let's say you're that type that you've been, you've been in the gym, you know, you're hitting those weights, you, you're trying to do X, Y, and Z, you're trying to do, you know, the best you can, you're trying to get that baby fat off of you, but you're like, you're struggling. Why can't I get rid of this belly fat? Let me tell you why, sister. It makes perfect sense. You got to change your diet. Eaters. <laughs> Healthmind.com recommends a low-carb, high-fat diet something similar to Atkins or the keto diet. I'm gonna post a link on the keto diet also in the descriptions below. So if you guys are interested in the keto diet, be my guest, it'll be down there for you to, you know, do your thing. Now the question is, how does the keto diet work? I didn't even know any of this. I wasn't interested in the ketogenic diet because I didn't need a ketogenic diet. I, I knew how to lose weight, so I'm like, I'm good. Lo and behold, did I not realize that I was probably doing a keto diet this whole time and I just did not know it because that's how I always lost my weight. I would cut my carbs out and I would just increase my proteins and you know, my, my good fats, like olive oil and you know, my, my nuts and stuff like that. And that's how I lost so much weight so fast. And I was like, oh, it makes perfect sense. And it's not just like they have one type of diet, they have like four different type of keto, or maybe five different kind of keto diets for each individual. So it's a no brainer. A ketogenic diet is a very low carb, high fat diet that shares many similarities with the Atkins and low carb diets, correct. It involves drastically reducing carbohydrate intake and replacing it with fat. This reduction in carbs puts your body into a metabolic state called ketosis. Okay, when this happens, your body becomes incredibly efficient at burning fat for energy. It also turns fat into ketones in the liver, which may supply energy for the brain. So you're telling me that I'm gonna get skinny and I'm gonna be smarter? It's a no brainer to me. <laughs> Cause I could use all the brain power, okay. Ketogenic diets can cause significant reductions in blood sugar and insulin levels. This along with the increased ketones has some health benefits. So if 
you're struggling with that low fat body weight and you're just not understanding how to get that tire away from your belly change your diet because it's so hard to get to the only way for you to be able to get to it is to change your diet as you see the diagram here the diagram shows you three different layers you would have to get to and the last layer is the visceral fat so that's the hardest part to get to and the only way to get to that is to change your diet there's no way around it if you want to lose weight and you know fit in them tight you know, little tight jeans and, you know, look cute in that little bikini. That to me was well worth its weight in gold. Because if I didn't know about it and I promote health on a regular basis because I, I believe in it. You know, I mean, I mess up. I'm like everybody else. But the point is I always try to educate somebody. So the fact that I did not know this, I'm so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for myself. Oh my gosh, how could I not, how could I not know this? But anyway, all right, so the point is, stubborn belly fat ladies, you can work it out. You'll be working off that subcutaneous fat. But if you really want to get in the, the nitty gritty of it, you're going to have to change your diet. That's it. So do yourself a favor, look at some, you know, low carb diet plans and get your butt in the gym. Let both of those two, you know, work hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? Low carb, high fat diet and working out. You're going to be thin in no time. It's been what? It's been four weeks since I've been on my diet. You know, for the first three weeks, I drastically took all salts, all sugars out of my diet. I didn't touch a carb. I only ate, you know, my proteins and my, my veggies. I mean, it was, it's not easy at first, but then after a while, you get used to it. So it's like, okay. So now it doesn't bother me. I don't have the cravings that I used to have. I'm good. You know, I'm good. So I'm able to get up and I'm even through my menopause, even through this. The heat wave. Oh my God. Even through that, I can get up and I can go to the gym and not feel tired and, you know, lethargic after I come out of my workout. I hate that feeling. And that usually happens when I eat bad. So now that I'm not eating bad and my body is basically getting back to normal, I think I'm gonna try a ketogenic diet. And they have one for bodybuilders because I need that. I'm working on the booty back here because it ain't where it's at right now. It ain't where it's at. And I ain't got no money to go buy buddy's butt. So I got to work on my own. So with that being said, if you're watching this and you're struggling with your weight, all you have to do is understand that your body is in a different metabolic state and in order for us to lose the weight that we want to lose we have to make some changes it's inevitable you don't want to go into bad health you truly don't and that scares me because visceral fat is literally a silent killer it's crazy but anywhere in any type of doctor visits that I went with my mom and my grandmother and because my mother had diabetes and I've never heard one doctor talk about visceral fat. I heard about her having to see a nutritionist. I heard, you know, the fact that she needed to lose weight. Like I heard all of these things, but where is the information that gets to the core of it? Hmm. Well, guess what? Now you know. Okay, now you know. Visceral fat versus subcutaneous fat. If you want to get rid of it, ladies, you're going to have to change your diet. And yes, you're going to have to get in the gym. You're going to have to get a workout routine. And you're going to have to just go for the gold. There is no other way. Okay. Don't forget, ladies, to like, subscribe. Please do me a favor and share this video. I feel like there's a lot of us out here that don't know what visceral fat is. And it's literally killing us. Okay. We, got, we, need, to, we need to pass the knowledge on. So this is me passing the knowledge on to you all. And I hope you guys pass the knowledge on to somebody else. And hopefully somebody will like and subscribe and get me to a thousand subscribers. Yo, because this is trying to get, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Anyway, this is Carla Alexander here with 
keeping it real. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on because you never know when I'm going to drop the next video. But you do know I'm going to be here every Wednesday.